Up next, we get into the school zone, Dallas. Welcome back on this windy, kind of rainy Wednesday. You know, the seventh season of the Emmy Award winning School Zone Dallas premieres tonight right here on Channel 8. And Naisha Smith, she is a junior at Booker T. Washington High School. And Flaviano Graziano, he's a senior at W.T. White High School. They're both here this morning. We're going to talk about the big show premiere tonight. And congratulations, because both of you are the anchors for the show. Was that a long process to get the two of you? Did you have to audition for it or just all work out? How did that happen? Well, um, we had to audition. We went into the administration building, mm -hmm. and you pulled up a script, and then you had to read the script in front of, in front of a camera. Have and you then, ever done that before? Um, I have yeah. done that before with a couple because I'm um, in acting class. We right. do a couple of things like that. So you're okay with yeah, it? Yeah, I was comfortable. pretty comfortable, yeah. Yeah, well, obviously, you got the job. <laughs> Way to go. What about you, Flaviano? For me, it was like a first-time thing. And the fact that I did it at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning, you know, I was a little bit tired. Were you up all night nervous about it? Uh, starting at 4, actually. Where? <laughs> but once I got there, you know, I was like, just go all out. And two months later, I got Yeah, part. and have fun, because the most part is to have fun. Plus, you're introducing stories that are really interesting. And one yeah. of the stories you have tonight is about this production of The Sound of Music. And The Sound of Music, which, which is a, a production, I think, over at W.T. White. Here it is. We have some video of it. They do great productions, and you guys are covering it. What do you find out about them? Um, well, we found out that the musical, it, they rehearse it. They pick a musical at the beginning of the year, and it's rehearsed throughout the entire year until spring of April. So and it's a long rehearsal yeah, process. Yeah, it's like a really long rehearsal process. And then they do the performance. And it takes so much energy and so much time. And so many people are like help put together this, like parents, like volunteers mm -hmm. and stuff. And it's just such a great program. And then like by the end, there's just an amazing show with this elaborate set, and it's just incredible. It's not your normal high school production. No. Yeah. It's bigger, probably bigger, it's probably like a lot of college productions or even, even professional productions in town. Yeah. Hey, there's another story you're covering, uh, covering and, and that's in, I want to say, call it catering, but it's in the food service business that serves all of the DISD. Yes. What are we finding out within, I mean, are we finding out what's going on in Snickerdoodles or, you know, what are you finding out within the food system of DISD? Well, see, when we shot there at the Maria Luna Food Service Facility, we got like a sneak peek, peek a sneak peek into uh -huh. a new menu item, which was the Alfredo. Some Alfredo. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. it was really good. Um, and I can't wait to have it at my school. So it's interesting, but what, the thought process, I guess, that goes, oh, by the way, there's the two of you getting ready to do the show. The thought process <laughs> of what really goes on in the food that goes on in DISD. Because a lot of times, you maybe, kids maybe feel like victims. Whatever they serve, that's what you have. But when you find out how they do it and their thought process and maybe even making it healthy, it's kind of interesting. It, it, is working on this show what you thought it would be like? Is it more fun or less fun? It's actually more fun yes. like I thought it would be I actually love like going to shoot an episode because mm -hmm. it's just so much fun because you get to do all these like fun things like one time we got to wear these like masks and this big jacket and gloves and stuff and it was just so fun I just haven't involved doing that I want to ask you about high school because because your kids are in high school and I'm sorry I'm calling your kids but <laughs> how old are you 16 yes 17 yes, sir. you know we're in an election year do you guys talk about politics at school at all I'm just kind of curious whether you could talk about Barack Obama and John McCain and this the vice presidential candidates do you What's going on? Yes, well, actually, in my ROTC class, like two days ago, that was like the main, what we were talking about, how Obama got elected as the Democratic candidate. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a controversy in between the kids at school, because some go for Obama and some go for McCain. Well, kind of like real life. Yes. We talk about it all the time at work. But it is, it, it is an interesting election year. Okay. And I'd ask you the same thing. What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to do TV? Do you want to do something completely different? Well, um, at Booker T uh, High School for Performing and Visual Arts, yeah. I'm a dance major, and so I want to pursue dance and acting for film. That's what you want to do? Yes. You want to do Chorus Line too? <laughs> you want to be in a Broadway production? Yes, I would love to or do film. Broadway. Yeah. That would be amazing too. Like just any opportunity to work with like either Fantastic. musicals or film would be just an amazing opportunity. And what does Flaviano want to be when he grows up? My dream is to become either a military lawyer or judge in the JAG Corps. 
In the JAG court. Yeah. And you watch that TV show JAG, don't you? Yeah, that's what yeah. kind of sparked the dream. <laughs> yeah, you know that lead, the lead guy in JAG is from Dallas. Anyway, oh, good to see you guys. And have fun. And you have a big party you. tonight when you watch it on Channel 8. By the way, you can watch Naisha and Flaviano tonight. It's on the season premiere of School Zone Dallas. It's produced, of course, by the good folks at DISD. It begins at 6.30 p.m. right here on Channel 8.